In this question, we're going to look at our demand and supply functions. Uh, in the previous question, we looked at our supply curve. And in the first question, we looked at our production possibility frontier. So in this question, we start off and in the question, they give us our demand and supply functions. We can see both of them here. So quantity demanded, QD equals 120 minus P. P is for the price. And quantity supplied equals 5P. Again, P is for the price. So in the first question here, they ask us, if the price of one can of Fanta is 10 Rand, is there a shortage or a surplus in the market? So the first way uh, we can do this is either, we can either do it algebraically or graphically, but we'll do it uh, via our mathematical functions. So we can simply say that we know that the quantity demanded uh, is equal to 120 minus P. And we know that our quantity supplied equals 5p and now they say if the price of Fanta is 10 rand so we we've got our price which is the p in our function here so we can simply fit it in and we can find that 120 minus 10 equals 110 so that is our quantity demanded we demand at the price of 10 rand 110 cans of Fanta per week and on our supply side we simply take our 10 and we fill it in and it's 5 times 10 which is 50 so we can see our supply is 50 and our quantity demanded is 110 so we demand more than what is supplied so think about it logically is it a shortage or surplus in the market well there's a shortage in the market and how big is that shortage it is simply a 110 minus 50 which equals 60. so there's a shortage of 60 cans per week of cans of Fanta. And that is as simple as that, this question. Uh, the second question is, what is the equilibrium price and quantity? So we know from our first few chapters in economics, equilibrium is obtained where supply equals demand. So we've got our supply curve and we've got a demand curve and where they meet or where the curves cross is where our equilibrium is at. So we've got our equilibrium quantity and we've got an equilibrium price. So this is graphically where equilibrium price and quantity is, but we now need to find it mathematically. But just by simply looking at the curve, we know what to do. So we said it is where the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. That is where our equilibrium is at. And we've got our quantity demand function and our quantity supplied function. So we simply set them equal to each other. So it's 120 minus P, quantity demanded, and our quantity supplied is five times the price. And now we can simply solve it. So 120 and becomes 5p plus p. So 120 equals 6p, which means that our price equals 20. That is our equilibrium price. So we can fill it in there. 20 is our equilibrium price. So now, But now we need to find our equilibrium quantity. So we can simply take our equilibrium price and we can fill it in in either our quantity demanded function or our quantity supplied function, but we'll do both just for illustrative purposes. So we know it's 120 minus P, which means it's 120 minus the equilibrium price of 20. And that is gonna give us 100. So we can fill it in and say our equilibrium quantity is 100. And like I said, just for illustrative purposes, we can fill it in our quantity supplied side as well. So five times the price, and we know our equilibrium price is 20. So we can fill it in. And we can see that it gives us the same value, which is 100. And it's as simple as that, guys. So the main things to remember from this question is equilibrium is where our supply and demand curve meet, or where quantity supplied equals quantity demand. So graphically, we can show it. And mathematically, we simply need to take our functions, set them equal to each other, and solve firstly for our equilibrium price once we've got our equilibrium price we can fill it in either into our quantity demand function or our supply function and we find our equilibrium quantity and remember to just then fill it in on your graph as well